Hey guys, welcome to Medifaction. Today let's learn about fat soluble vitamins. We will also discuss about the various recommended daily allowance, dietary sources, functions and important deficiency manifestations of each fat soluble vitamins. Let's get started. Vitamin A. The recommended daily allowance for vitamin A is 400 to 600 mg per day for children, 750 to 1000 mg per day for men and 750 mg per day for women and 1000 mg per day in pregnancy period. The main and important dietary sources of vitamin A is the animal sources include milk, butter, cream, cheese, egg yolk and liver. Fish liver oils that is cod liver oil and shark liver oil are very rich sources of the vitamin. Vegetable sources contain the yellow pigment beta carotene. Carrot contains significant quantity of beta carotene. Papayas, mango, pumpkins, green leafy vegetables such as spinach and amaranth are also other good sources of vitamin A activity. During cooking, the activity is not destroyed. Now let's move on to the functions of vitamin A. Number 1. The retinoic acid has a role in the regulation of gene expression and differentiation of tissues. Number 2. Retinol is necessary for the reproductive system. Retinol acts like a steroid hormone in controlling the expression of certain genes. This may account for the requirement of vitamin A for normal reproduction. Third function Antioxidant property There is a correlation between the occurrence of epithelial cancers and vitamin A deficiency. The anti-cancer activity has been attributed to the natural antioxidant property of carotenoids. Fresh vegetables containing carotenoids were shown to reduce the incidence of cancer. Number 4. Beta carotenes may be useful in preventing heart attacks. Fifth function is necessary for maintenance of normal epithelium. Now let's check some important deficiency manifestation of vitamin A. First one is night blindness or nyctalopia. This is visual acuity is diminished in dim light. The patient cannot read or drive a car in poor light. The dark adaptation time is increased in this case. The next case is Seropthalmia. The conjunctiva becomes dry, thick and wrinkled. The conjunctiva gets keratinized and loses its normal transparency. Dryness also spreads to cornea. Third condition, Bitot spot. These are seen as greyish white triangular plaques firmly adherent to the conjunctiva. This is due to increased thickness of conjunctiva in certain areas. Fourth condition is keratomalacia. When the serophthalmia persists for a long time, it progresses to keratomalacia that is softening of cornea. Moving on to the next fat soluble vitamin which is vitamin D. Requirement of vitamin D. For children, the required rate of vitamin D is 10 mg per day. For adults, it ranges up to 5 to 10 mg per day. In pregnancy or lactation period, it ranges from 10 mg per day 
and for the cases of above 60 age, the required rate is 600 IU per day. Sources of Vitamin D Exposure to sunlight produces cholecalciferol. Moreover, fish liver oils, fishes, egg yolk are good sources of the vitamin D. Milk contains moderate quantity of this vitamin. The current recommendation is to fortify dairy products with vitamin D and adequate exposure to sunlight without sunscreen before 10 am and after 3 pm at least 15 minutes a day that is safe sun functions of vitamin d number one vitamin d and absorption of calcium calcitriol promotes the absorption of calcium and phosphorus from the intestine on the brush border surface Calcium is absorbed passively. From the intestinal cell to blood, absorption of calcium needs energy. Number 2. Effect of Vitamin D on Bone Mineralization of the bone is increased by increasing the activity of osteoblasts. Calcitriol coordinates the remodeling of bone and increases bone mineral density. Active vitamin D has action on all three types of bone cells that are osteoblast, osteoclast and osteocytes. Effects of vitamin D on renal tubules Calcitriol increases the reabsorption of calcium and phosphorus by renal tubules. Therefore, both minerals are conserved. The parathyroid hormone conserves only calcium. The deficiency manifestation associated with vitamin D is rickets. The deficiency of vitamin D are called rickets in children and osteomalacia in adults. This is a case of rickets in children and this is how osteomalacia looks like. Hence, vitamin D is known as anti rickettic vitamin. The next fat soluble vitamin is vitamin E. Recommended daily allowance for males 10 mg per day, for females 8 mg per day. In pregnancy period, it will be 10 mg per day and for lactation period, the required daily allowance for vitamin E is 12 mg per day. Sources of Vitamin E Vegetable oils are rich sources of vitamin E. Example, wheat germ oil, sunflower oil, cotton seeds, etc. Fish liver oils are devoid of vitamin E. Functions of Vitamin E Number 1. Vitamin E is the most powerful natural antioxidant. Number 2. The free radicals would attack biomembranes. Vitamin E protects RBC from hemolysis. Number 3. Gradual deterioration of aging process is due to cumulative effects of free radicals. Vitamin E also boosts immune response. Number 4. It reduces the risk of atherosclerosis by reducing oxidation of low density lipids. Vitamin E can depress leukocyte oxidative bactericidal activity. In a normal adult, the body vitamin E stores can meet the requirement for several months. Vitamin K Daily requirement of vitamin K Recommended daily allowance is 50 to 100 mg per day. This is usually available in a normal diet. Sources of vitamin K The main important source for vitamin K is 
green leafy vegetables. Even if the diet does not contain the vitamin, the intestinal bacterial synthesis will meet the daily requirements, as long as absorption is normal. Functions of Vitamin K Vitamin K is necessary for coagulation. Factors dependent on vitamin K are factor 2 which is prothrombin, factor 7, factor 9 or Christmas factor and factor 10 which is Stewart power factor. All these factors are synthesized by the liver as inactive zymogens. They undergo post-translational modification, gamma carboxylation of glutamic acid residues. These are the binding sites for calcium ions. The gamma carboxyglutamic acid synthesizes requires vitamin K as a cofactor. Vitamin K dependent gamma carboxylation is also necessary for the functional activity of osteocalcin as well as structural proteins of kidney, lung, and spleen. Osteocalcin is synthesized by osteoblast and seen only in bone. It is a small protein that binds tightly to hydroxyapatite crystals of bone. This binding is dependent on the degree of gamma carboxylation. Osteocalcin also contains hydroxyproline so it is dependent on both vitamin K and C. Moreover, vitamin D induces its synthesis. Hope you have understood the video. Like, subscribe and press the bell button for more videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching.